Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you so much guys for being my company. Let's see today, let's find out if the person in your mind is spying on you, on your social media, if they have them, or in other ways possible, maybe in person. They are spying on you, so let's see. Let's check this out. You can choose your pile 1, to 3 as usual, which I will insert right now, and I'm going for pile number 1. Hello pile 1. If you chose this uh, card with the Knight of Swords, this reading is for you. If you guys would like a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20, and you can ask up to 3 questions. And also guys, please check out my announcement. In the description box, it's about 18 plus readings on my Patreon, which will be available until end of April 2024. Let's start guys and let's see what's going on in the person in your mind and if they are spying on you. If this person is spying on your social media and if so, why? Let's see. So you guys chose here the Knight of Swords, right? And the Knight of Swords is a card speaking about uh, determination about someone taking action, being bold. Definitely this person has an eye on you because we have this uh, glass over here as you can see. Yes, they keep uh, tabs on you, they have their eyes on you. We'll see about spine over here, but definitely they're focused on you, I can say that. And I also can say here that you inspire this person physically, uh, sexually a lot, it's like every time they see you, whatever they see you, you give them a lot of uh, inspiration, a lot of passion, not only regards to you, but also to pursue things in their life. So it's like, guys, you are an inspiration to this person. It's like, guys, you give a lot of energy to this person, and it's like uh, you are their muse, you know. Yes, I also see this green color, and the green color is about uh, fertility, abundance, so this person feels very good around you, in your presence, and also is about fertility here, about sexual energies again. For some I get, uh, this might be your eggs, just for some because these are broken eggs here, you see. And we also have here a Dada phone, and with the phone, yes, this person is looking at you a lot at uh, their phone, you know. Either they have pictures or they have your social media, we'll see about that. Alright, let's see guys, I will shuffle all the cards, let's find out if it's a yes or a no, and if so, if they are spying on you, why? Let's see. Okay, pile one, very interesting here. So as I said in the beginning, for some of you this is an ex, ex-partner, because we have uh, six of cups over here, and we also have the death card. Yes, we have the death card and we also have five of cups, so this tells me that uh, with the death you might have had an ending with this person. Five of cups speaking about loss, disappointment. We also have here five of uh, swords, which is speaking about disagreements or some tension in your uh, connection. But uh, this is one scenario because I feel like uh, for other people this might be a person that you have rejected or this person has a uh, fear of rejection here and this person might be from your community. I see here we have the Three of Pentacles. Yes, I feel this person, guys, is very stressed right now in regards to you. Mm, if this is your ex, it could be they have a lot of memories that don't uh, let this person sleep because we have this card over here with these snakes and the scorpions and everything and it gives me an uneasy feeling in this case and also with the five of swords there is some uh, darkness here, some negative energy I'm not saying that this person feels negatively towards you, although it could be but uh, I more feel like this person blames themselves, they have these uh, fears over here, because we also have the moon card over here, the moon. And the moon is speaking about uncertainty, about being in the dark, about having doubts and fears about something. 
So to answer your question, if this person uh, first of all is uh, spying on you, yes, definitely they are because we have the world card and the world card is speaking about um, the internet, right? So for most of you, this person is watching you online, your social media, definitely yes. Because you also have here Ace of Wands, the Ace is to me represent a yes, right? Uh, but this person is watching you secretly. This could be online, this could be in person as well. We have the Empress clarifying the world card. With the Empress card, they definitely, guys, admire you, admire your body, admire your beauty, admire everything, how you present yourself. Because you have here this body and here this body in the world. But I feel this person is doing it secretly because you have the High Priestess, so they don't want you to know. So I get here for a lot of you is online, for others of you, if they don't have your social media is in person. They are trying really hard to hide it from you, that they are so focused on you. And yes, they are focused. Their focal point is you, with this circle over here. And outside, there are other people maybe that want their attention, but they don't care. They could care less, actually. You are their focus here, you see. Because they see us very elegant. The way you move your body, I get here, uh, turns them on a lot. You also have here the green color, which is about fertility again. Some of you guys uh, might have an hourglass figure, not necessarily. But this person is going crazy about it. And why? Why is this person watching you? Because they like you, they admire you, they are turned on by you. We have the Ace of Wands. And this card, as you know guys, is a card of passion, of attraction, of sexual excitement. A lot of passion, so yes, their wand is uh, erected. <laughs> Sorry, their wand is erected when they're watching you, either online or in person. So you give this person a lot of uh, food of thought here. They might be even doing other stuff while watching you, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. Because I see this wand over here, and also have this uh, bone. And uh, with a bone, if you add an ER at the end, you get it. So you give this person a reaction here. Physical reaction, to say the least, with a strength card. A lot of desire and they cannot help it. And I feel this person is really trying to hide it. It doesn't matter if it's online or in person. If it's in person, I get this person might be blushing, you know. But uh, it's like they're uh, wearing a mask here, they're trying really hard to hide it. Because we have High Priestess, the Moon. So these two cards are talking about hidden things, about secrets, right? And you also have the Emperor. And this card is speaking about uh, being controlled, about having this facade almost, of being stoic, of being serious. Almost like a poker face in some cases. So definitely this person is trying to control their passion here the Emperor, and uh, he came out as a couple, Empress and the Emperor, and uh, this person feels, guys, that uh, you would be great for them, like a perfect almost, because the world card over here is speaking about perfection as well, something being complete, whole and complete and perfect, and it's clarified by the Empress, so this is you. Yes, and we also guys have here in this spread, we have the Queen of Wands, so this person has a lot, a lot of passion for you. They find you very exciting, very passionate, maybe guys you're passionate in your life as well. It could pertain to your job, to your hobbies, your career, to yourself, like reinventing yourself I get for some, to beautify yourself, to better yourself, to improve yourself. In every aspect here, you're a person that's very passionate, very driven, very confident. You might even be a boss here. And this person really loves it about you. Know, they love this independence that you have. And they cannot help but be drawn to you. So they find you very, very sexy here. And uh, here, guys, with the Five of Swords. This card is speaking about tension. In this case, I feel it's a uh, sexual tension. I don't know if you're uh, talking to this person, if you are, 
it could be for some of you that you are in communication your discussions here conversations give this person a lot of food of thought as i told you and makes them uh, to have this uh, sexual tension for you even more because it's clarified with the queen of wands over here in case that this person is your ex why they're watching you and spying on you is because here with the three of uh, pentacles this person might want to reconcile with you they're thinking about that to come back to you but they keep this a secret with the moon you see and uh, if it's your ex with the world they're thinking that you guys belong together they're very attached to you to your energy because of the strength you have a strong bond over here very strong connection and uh, they cannot get rid of this energy right i feel like you guys are always on this person's mind no matter what i also noticed first time uh, the teeth here so if you can see this card of high priestess she has this uh, first row of teeth and then she has other teeth beneath so this tells me maybe for some of you this person is a little bit immature for others yes it's this hiding right they're hiding they're not showing you their true self very interesting so also with these white flowers i feel like this person is trying to portray this image of being innocent of nonchalant of you know very laid back but inside here with the strength they're burning right so we also have here six of swords swords here swords here they're thinking a lot about you and also with the swords and the ace of wands this tells me that uh, this person is propelled by their passion to move this connection forward for a lot of you with the death card they won't transform the current status quo and move beyond move beyond that move beyond their insecurities here with the five of cups uh, move beyond their fear of rejection they are trying to make peace with that thought you know they are processing right now and also the three of pentacles guys sometimes is um, the willingness to work on things to work on a connection so this person that's why they are watching you and spying on you because they want that for you guys all right very interesting so today it was a quick reading for you guys that's all i had for you if you like this reading give me a like subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye hi pal to welcome guys if you chose this card this beautiful lady the ten of swords this reading is for you if you would like a personal reading from me i do offer a same day reading for 20 dollars and also guys check out the description box i have an announcement there for my 18 plus readings on patreon uh, it will be open until end of april 2024 you can find all the information about these in the description box and also in the comment section so let's find out what about your person here are they spying on social media and if so why so with this card over here guys i feel like uh, this person for some i get you have history with this person and they feel very protective over you they might even be jealous for others of you if it's a new person i feel like uh, you guys are out of their league yes i feel this person has put you on a pedestal and um, i get here the impression that there is some shyness coming through from this person and for others of you if your ex they're very protective and jealous for some i get you might be a more mature woman for some of you guys not all you might even be divorced here i get and we also have some initials in this card dga if you can see over here maybe it means something to some of you okay let's find out more let's see what's going on with your person are they spying on you and if so why let's see Okay, you guys, so to answer first your question, if it's a yes or no, if they are spying on you, definitely yes. We have here the world, 
So the world guards speaking a lot of times about the internet and we have it clarified with the king of wands. So it's a yes definitely guys because the king of wands is a person that has a lot of uh, passion, a lot of activity here behind the scenes. And they say it's behind the scenes because here we have the four of pentacles. So it's a little bit hidden here that this person is watching you that much. So yes, with the king of wands this person has a lot of passion for you. This person guy is very attracted to you. You even came out as a couple. King of wands and the queen of wands as you can see. If this person is a crush guy, this person is really enamored by you. And also it could be for some in person that this person is keeping an eye on you. Not only on the internet, it could also be in person over here for some of you guys. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, small amount of you, this could be your ex because the world card speaks about uh, ending sometimes. We also have the fool, which speaks about a new beginning. And we also have the star, which is speaking about a renewal of a connection, of hope. So in this case, guys, why is this person uh, spying on you? It's because they don't have access to you. It's because they want to find out what you're doing, first of all. As I told you before, this person might be a bit jealous, I get. Because uh, with the king of uh, wands over here, this person is very, very passionate here. And this person uh, can channel their passion in a wrong way sometimes, in regards to you. So yes, this is the first thing. They want to check up on you, to see what you're doing. They are very curious about what you're doing. And also the jealousy came uh, through here with the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords tell me that uh, this person, because uh, there is lack of information right now between you, with the Two of Swords as well, this person is really trapped here in their own head in regards to you. We also have here Four of Swords. And both of these cards, actually all three, are speaking about um, being trapped in your mind in a way, trying to process things, trying to analyze things a lot. Also, we have here two of swords which is speaking about stalemate. Perhaps some of you guys are no contact and this person is checking up on you. And I said before jealousy because uh, with eight of swords here, the king of wands and also the knight of wands, their passion for you goes overboard and they are afraid here I get. They are afraid that they will lose you to someone else. So that's why I get a little bit of um, <clears throat> aggression because, uh, yeah, the Knight of Wands over here with all of these swords around tells me that this person uh, might be a little bit uh, possessive over you if this is the next partner, right? And uh, with the full card and the star, they want to take a risk and come towards you. They want a new beginning with you, but uh, it's still a risk for them. They don't know if they should pursue it or not yet. So there is this uh, willpower here, or at least they want to gather their strength with the um, magician. The king of wands to take action towards you. That's why, guys, uh, they are spying on you. In the case, guys, that this, is, that this is a crush of yours, it could be a new person because we have the fool here. And the fool is speaking about new romance, right? A new person. This person, guys, is really admiring you. That's why they are looking you up online. We have here the world. The Empress. We also have the Star. We have Queen of Wands. So as you can see here, this person is really crazy about you. Maybe they are starting to fall in love with you. With the full right. New feelings developing for you. Uh, they admire your star quality over here, they admire your body, a lot of physical attraction I get because you have uh, here the knight of wands and the king of wands and the empress is a symbol of sensuality, of beauty, femininity as well, this person is really admiring your body over here, your femininity, they think guys that um, you look very good and uh, you are in this era in your life that you look uh, like a woman, not like a girl, you know. Although some of you guys might be younger, 
So in this case, just means that this person finds you very, very feminine. And uh, we have the star, you also have the six of wands. So you guys may be very popular online. Maybe you have a big following, not necessarily. But uh, you stand out from the crowd definitely. And this person is really, really admiring you here, of course. And with the star, it's like they have uh, hard eyes whenever they see you. Your body, your face I get here. With the Queen of Wands they find you very sexy and it's something that uh, gives them, uh, you know, food for thought when they are looking you up online. Yes, they find you sexy with the Queen of Wands but they also find you a little bit challenging, I get this message for some of you guys. And this is really something that uh, turns this person on. It's like this person wants what they can't have. Because uh, here, guys, with the Four of Pentacles, maybe you play hard to get, maybe you are hard to get, maybe you keep to yourself, you know, you don't give them a lot when you interact with them. And uh, this curiosity about you makes this person look you up online because they want to fill in this gap that is missing, this information that is missing with the Two of Swords over here. So yeah, this person, guys, is very sexually attracted to you. Knight of Wands, King of Wands and the world very very focused on you and uh, they want to manifest something in regards to you in their life with a magician also after they are looking at you online here with a magician this gives them uh, this imagery that they can use to manifest so I feel like uh, after they see online uh, these images that they have in their brain makes them you know become obsessed with you and uh, manifest you subconsciously yes so if you feel uh, some type of way like um, feeling sexual energies out of the blue is because this person is watching you so much and uh, they are manifesting you yes a lot of thinking process we have a lot of swords in your spread and with the four of swords they are really really holding on to your memories or what they see online about you also, this person, guys, really likes that you are a very calm person here with the temperance. And when they see you, when they see your pictures, it calms them down. If this is your ex, uh, you know, they feel better after they see you. Maybe this person misses you, that's why. If this is a crush, they feel very good in your presence and your energy has this uh, calming effect on them. Definitely, you have uh, stood out for this person if this is a crush with the fool they want to take a risk they want to take uh, this leap of faith but they are still wondering about it if they should with the eight of swords they might have some uh, limiting beliefs about themselves and because they cannot look at you perhaps directly in person they prefer to do this online but uh, yes for others of you guys small amount this person can um, have an eye on you also in person over here and I feel they're a little bit taken aback here by your beauty and by your uh, sex appeal here they cannot help but look at you and they try to control this with the four of pentacles and the temperance to control their passion for you uh, which is very difficult and they fall into their own trap here I get because um, as long as they try to control it, it, it's becoming even stronger and bigger, you know, their passion is growing with the magician and the king of uh, wands over here because um, if you repress something, it's becoming even bigger, right? And they don't know, they haven't realized that they fall into their own trap over here because maybe they try to avoid in person but by watching you they are playing themselves here, you know, with the magician also. Also here guys with the six of uh, wands and the magician, this person and the star, they feel like uh, you have the star quality about you, that a lot of people want you and this makes this person want you even more, you know. They feel like a lot of people are around you and are watching you as well. And with the page of pentacles, this person, if this is your ex, they might be thinking about uh, messaging you or about uh, giving you a small offer, if it's even your crush. So this uh, propels them, you know, to do so. 
I don't know, I get the sense here that for both uh, instances, for both cases, you guys are a bit intimidating here to this person. Because if you combine the world card, the star card, and also empress and queen of wands, I feel like this person feels a little bit small in front of you. With the four of pentacles over here and the fool, they might not feel enough for you, you know. And they escape from reality by watching you line. As I told at the beginning here with this card, they feel like um, they cannot measure up to you in some way. So they put you on this pedestal already. And this gives them anxiety here with the Eight of uh, Swords. And also the Two of Swords. Because this person feels like their chances are small here with the Page of Pentacles, you see. So they prefer to admire you from distance. With the star, you might have a distance between you, either emotional, geographical, or um, because they put you on this pedestal, you know. So they prefer to admire your beauty, your sex appeal, everything about you, by keeping their distance. Alright, Pile 2, that's all I had for you today. It was a quick read for you. If you like this reading, you can give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi Pile 3, welcome guys. If you chose this card with a page of swords, this reading is for you. If you would like a personal reading from me, I do offer a same day reading for $20, where you can ask up to 3 questions. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings, which I will keep until uh, end of April 2024. Please check the announcement in the description guys if you are interested. So let's find out. What about your person here? Are they spying on your social media? And if so, why? So here, guys, you have Page of Swords and this card uh, literally speaks about uh, someone spying, you know? Someone being very curious and finding information about you. I also see this wheel in the background and uh, this tells me maybe this person is checking up on you from time to time. Maybe not continuously, we'll see about that. We'll see what the cards will show in more detail. Yes, let's find out, guys. Let's see. Are they spying on you? And if so, why? Alright, pile 3, so what I get here is this person might be your ex for a lot of you. For others this person could be a person that you might have rejected because this person uh, feels here with the five of cups. A little bit disappointed, you know. We also have here five of pentacles and this is speaking about insecurities about uh, being left out in the cold. So take it as it resonates. For some of you it's your ex. For others this person might feel rejected by you in a way. For others of you this person uh, didn't do anything in regards to you because here we have the king of wands in reverse. But this person feels defeated already. So I don't like this energy because if you haven't tried how can you feel rejected, you know. So I feel this person in this case is feeling a lot of uh, fears, insecurities here uh, because we also have the moon card and the moon is speaking about the insecurities here and doubts and uncertainty and also this person feels guys that they would be judged here with the judgment if they come forward or if this is your ex or a person you rejected they feel like uh, you're very harsh on them that you judge them in some type of way. Okay, so I also get here for some of you it could be persons that you have no contact. We have the hanged man over here. And this person is checking up on you online. So to answer your question, yes. They are looking up on you online. They are spying on your social media, but not all the time. It's from time to time because you also have here the wheel of fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune tells me, because this card is speaking about cycles, you know. 
So it's either after the cycle has closed with this person, maybe you broke up or this person might feel guys that uh, this cycle has not closed yet with the judgment and the will of fortune and they feel like uh, they will leave it to destiny to see if, if you two guys will come together, you know. I get an interesting message here for some of you this person could be in a relationship already that's why they feel uh, helpless and hopeless in your connection and that's why uh, they resort to this type of uh, spying, you know, so they only look but they don't act as I said here with the king of wands uh, Because this card is talking about taking action and here is reversed So this person cannot take action towards you in real life and that's why uh, They are spying on you because it's their only way to really admire you and This person really has a lot of passion for you with the king of wands, but they cannot express this passion so either this person, guys, is in a relationship because I see here King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles speaking about someone that is uh, stable and also in combination with the Ten of Pentacles they might be in a stable connection they might even be married, guys, just for some and for others, this person might be a boss this might be a colleague here because we have the Pentacles um, involved and you see this person from time to time here with the Wheel of Fortune, for some of you. Others of you, you see this person every day, I feel. We also have here Eight of Pentacles, definitely. This could be a work situation, a situation where you can see each other a lot, like if you have a hobby, for example, and you see them on some days of the week, right? And this person over here, uh, if this person is in a relationship already, if they are committed already, with the two of swords they cannot act, they cannot come towards you they are stuck here, stuck in their head stuck in their mind about you with a hanged man also is talking about stalemate, uh, being stuck in a situation, not being able to act so yes, it could be this person is in a relationship or married or they are your colleague or your boss or something like that because a lot of pentacles are involved and they cannot act on their feelings and this person guys is watching you because they do have feelings for you here we have the knight of cups so the knight of cups is speaking about uh, romantic feelings about uh, wanting to express their feelings wanting to offer you something but they don't act on it eventually because here we have the five of cups underneath or they did in the past and you rejected them in some type of way or it's all in their head here with the hanged man and the two of swords it's like um, they're very confused doubtful, fearful if you will accept their offer because here we also have the moon and we have the page of wands so they are not sure guys if you're going to accept their offer you see they do want to offer you something or, or they did in the past with the page of uh, wands over here but with the moon they feel like uh, they are in the dark or they are very very fearful here that you will reject them, that uh, you will throw them away I hear and we also have here guys justice so this person feels like uh, if they act because they do want to act with the fool they want to take this risk but again they feel like if they act upon their feelings and passion for you that something bad will happen that karma will come uh, back to bite them and they are behind, you know that uh, there will be consequences to that consequences to their actions and some form of punishment here because we have judgment and the will of fortune so they feel like they will be punished in some uh, way or another if they come towards you and that's why guys they are spying on you because it's safer for them to just be behind the screen and spy and not do anything, right? so there is this battle between their heart and their brain as you can see in this card with the justice and their heart is telling them that uh, they want you, they have feelings for you they have passion for you but their brain is telling them to, you know to not do anything with the hangman if this is an uh, ex or a person that you are no contact 
They are watching you because they want you, but they are holding back here, you see. Their mind tells them to back off. And this person, if it's a new person, guys, they have a lot, a lot of insecurities about themselves. So we have here the fool, and this person feels like uh, if they come forward, if they come towards you, they will uh, be seen like a fool here. And then they retract the Five of Pentacles, they retreat, and uh, they don't do anything eventually. This person feels like they would be judged uh, harshly here by you for some reason. I don't know why, guys. This person has a lot of insecurities here and fears. I also get here with the judgment that this person is uh, judging you, quote unquote, when they see online. They judge your style and how you present yourself in a good way. They feel like you have a good style. They love your femininity here. And the reason why this person is watching you is because uh, they admire you. They really do admire you. Uh, with the Knight of Cups over here. They do have a lot of passion for you. With the King of Wands. And also I noticed um, this nose over here. It's like a heart. Inverted heart. So yes, they do love you. If this is your ex. They do have feelings for you. They have uh, this uh, hope secretly here. I get. That you can be together. But because it's uh, reversed, they lose their hope and uh, they become this insecure person again. Also I get guys that this person, if they are married or in a relationship, they are thinking about you all the time, all the time here, to of sorts and hanged men. And you have made this person to realize some things and to change their perspective either on their marriage or uh, on their relationship i'm not saying this is right or this is bad i'm just reading the cards guys okay so yes this person uh, has second thoughts about their uh, connection their stable connection because of you and because of that because it's taboo to come forward the only thing they can do is to watch you online you know and yes, this person has uh, really deep feelings here, I feel. They like you a lot. Especially with the moon. Because the moon is speaking about deep feelings, about emotions. And uh, the skull here is inverted. You cannot see the face. So this person is definitely hiding behind the mask. And they are uh, hiding the feelings that they have for you. Perhaps you know that uh, they like you. Or you don't know because this person is really trying to hide over here. But since you are asking, since you are uh, watching this reading, most of you guys know that this person has feelings for you, right? But they feel here with the page of wands as well that, that their offer in regards to you would be ridiculous. If this person is a married person or in a relationship, they cannot offer you anything, right? They cannot offer you stability. The only thing they can offer here is uh, sexual connections and they're not sure if you want that and they're not sure as well if you would like that so this keeps them over here in this um, stalemate and this um, freezing mode almost I also feel guys that this person is trying to make a decision here they're trying to weigh things because they have these two sides that are battling them all the time and they are thinking in regards to that, what to do, what to do with you. Okay, pile number three, very interesting here. That's all I had for you today. A quick read for you today, guys. If you like this reading, you can give me a like. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.